Good day viewers. Today I'm gonna connect up a uh, CT meter, a current transformer driven meter. This particular one is 3 times 240 volts. Um, to run it is a single phase meter. This is a 28 Landis and Gear meter. The meter is rated at 3 times 5 ampere. It's a blank 5 meter as you can see. There's nothing stamped in there so it reads 2 kilowatt hours for 5 amps and normally a utility will add a multiplier onto it. The meter has a maximum demand dial which currently is not used. And the wiring configuration underneath is phase leading wire in a jumper from terminal 1 to terminal 2 that's to activate a potential coil. Current goes for the current the white wire is the return wire, still a phase that goes to the load. In this particular case, a one kilowatt heater. Then the neutral sits on terminal 11. As all these terminals on the meters um, have numbers on them, Let's see if we can pick it up a bit better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. So on a three-phase polyphase CT meter. Terminal 2, Terminal 5 and Terminal 8 are the potential calls which get 230 volts or between the two phases 400 or 415 and it drives the voltage calls in the meter. Terminal 11 is the neutral in this particular meter. Here we have a bit of closer up of uh, shot of the terminals for a standard type 3 phase meter. Now I will reconfigure this meter although this is a kilowatt hour meter. Uh, for Felix 2417425 he is another YouTube member and he got a KVARH meter which is rated for 3 times 100 volts so it's a different arrangement and it measures KVAR so it probably needs a phase shift to make it work for a resistive load like lamps and heaters so I'll set this meter up that way and with a bit of luck we'll get it to work still this is the speed of this particular meter at a 4.8 ampere load. I have reconfigured the wire on this particular meter and uh, it seemed to be working fine. Then I have uh, connected the neutral to terminal 5 which I will show you in a second. There is a bit of a phase shift created too as the LEDs seem to be going on and off after each other. The disk speed has reduced because we've got 240 volts across two series windings which is fair enough but um, in Felix's case he wants to have the meter just turning around for decorative purposes. So I'll go to the terminals now. So I'll put the neutral into terminal 5 basically. Um, I would recommend with a 100 volt meter on a 220 or 240 volt supply that he buys uh, some of these 5 watt wire wound resistors which you can get like for um, 50 cents each at the most electrical electronics shops. In his case, start with a high value, say let's say 10 kilo ohms around that value. So you get like 3 or 4 of 3K3, so you have a good voltage rating, and put those in series with the voltage call of the meter. And uh, yeah, just monitor the temperature of the of the calls themselves so that they don't overheat, and um, yeah, keep keep us posted. Thanks for watching.